So I put up a preview of this new track and um, seems there's a good little response on it. I thought I might use it as a chance to take a look at structuring in a similar way to I demonstrated on that Cubase video. So this real old school approach of taking eight bar sections and just kind of shaping them out in the timeline first and then muting sections, enabling sections just to get a little vibe on the go quickly. It's kind of um, counter to the way that I would say Ableton is designed, but um, some people prefer to really kind of take a step back in the old school approach. And so um, let's have a listen anyway. I've, I've added a few more elements. Um, the track still needs some work. I'm poss possibly even gonna come out with um, some new musical elements, but look, this is what I've got so far. <laughs> So um, take off some of these, this is pretty much what you heard on the demo that I uploaded last night, so the new elements, string and the pad, so they're not all designed to go at exactly the same time but look what I'll do is we'll do this approach so we're going to take um, all of these, let me just basically do command A, select all and I'm going to hold down the mouse button and push tab so we can see here that these clips now can be dragged into the arrange view I'm going to take it back up to you know the check here is to make sure that the clips are matching up with the actual track name on the right hand side so you can see here EP string etc so I'm just dropping them in so we can see now the structure is there let me tuck this away and um, you know you can see what's going on now what's happened is is that we're now in the arrange view and you can see these are grayed out and um, what we need to do is to actually activate these so that this is used as the master now and this is something that's quite new I'm trying to remember which of these it is let me bring this up and um, they've basically switched it around so oh, it's not here MIDI let me just try and find it it's one of these that switches the view back um, well, it switches the mode back. I think this this one here, back to arrangement. There we go. So instead of being focused on the session view, we're now on the arrangement view. So that's switched around a little bit since uh, Ableton 8, and I'm still getting familiar with Ableton 9. All right, so let's take a look, see what we've got going on. Let me open this up. You know, we want to get these eight bar sections. So I'm going to duplicate this and the string, and uh, let me tuck that away. What I want to do is to get these to eight bar chunks, I'm going to consolidate. I'm going to right click, come down to consolidate here. So we're getting these eight bar chunks, the same concept as that Cubase video. So what we want to do is to basically end up with a whole load of these eight bar sections. I'm just going to remind myself of the key command in a second. So I've got these little skippy snares. I'm going to basically get these selected as well. Good spelling there. I've got a T instead of a Y. Uh, but I was doing stuff quickly, so consolidate right. It's command J, so I remember that for next time. Uh, just use the wrong one there. Let me just get that sorted. In fact, what you just saw is what we're going to use to mute the clips. So it's deactivating the clip. So command J, uh, organ bass as well. Let's get these selected. Couple of um, audio loops down there. Let me just get my beat uh, set up as well. So there's a real mixture of uh, elements here. Once again, nothing too complicated. This little shaker loop here is an audio loop. These crunchy hats are a little audio loop on top as well. Sometimes I do that. So I do the main backbeat as programming and then add some layers on top. I'm just consolidating these so that we get these nice and tidy. The vocals are basically MIDI clip again so that's eight bars so that's cool just going to listen and check that everything's all right so here we go seems absolutely fine okay so look that's everything sorted out and um I'm just going to get the colors sorted out. I'm a little bit funny about this sort of stuff. Um, this is for aesthetic purposes at the moment. All right, so eight bar chunks. Um, whilst I'm here, let me just sort my naming out because that's going to drive me mad. Um, here we go. Let's get that renamed. So not skipped 
snare it's going to be skippy snare and you see the programming down here that's what's going on there and um what i'm going to do so look this is what we had in that keyboard scene. we're looking down at the ruler down below so we can see the time and uh, i want to actually increase all of this so let's just select them all command d Going to duplicate these to create these eight bar sections you know a lot of the time with music the progressions are made every eight bars i'm going to keep going here and then i'm just going to zoom out and select the whole lot command a and command d just filling it all out now you can see we're just above five minutes down here maybe add a couple more of these you know so with a club tune like this you know, we might be looking at about five and a half minutes maybe six so you can see we've got everything running there and what I'm going to do is do Command A, and then I'm going to right click, and we're going to say here deactivate clips. So that's that's what we've got. We've got nothing, all right? So this is going to be our little foundation, and we're going to start building stuff up. And uh, I would say that we should start with the beats probably. So we're going to do here uh, activate clips. Let's have a listen. So that's a real basic beat that I've got set up. I think actually we'll need to bring something else in. So we're gonna just come back on here and activate this one again. So what's that, zero. So let's click on here. So pushing the zero key now just for speed. So we can get this sense of shaping the track out. I think actually I need those crunch hats to start off with. Also probably we need to get some uh, crash cymbals and stuff like that on the go. Um, let's see how this feels for the first eight. Yeah, I definitely feel that's a good start. The skippy snare, I'm going to bring in on the next. Keep that running. Oh, look, I've got my pad badly named as well. So look, I'm going to leave it. So the skippy snare is coming in. Maybe the shaker here. A little extra layer of high frequency energy. So we'll probably have some kind of a, a fill coming up. Drop out some elements maybe here and then bring in the bass. Maybe the organ bass that gets doubled up with that. Try the vocal. about this particular sequence is, is that it's almost feeling like it's a progressed structure so it's like this year vocal I'm gonna basically delete these and see how that feels Let's fill up. take away the double hit here so now we've got a progression see how that is Maybe at bar 49 we will have a breakdown. Let me see how this goes. Maybe needs the bass. So this is where we can start playing around with these things. Maybe the vocal back. See how it feels now. But you can see how it's actually turning into a real nice visual set of building blocks that we can use. Yeah, maybe. Let me see if I bring this string in here. Yeah, I quite like that.
feel for it. Um, what I would say is probably on here, I'd need to reactivate that beat, but not have it so busy. Let me take these and take these out. And um, let's get it so that it's really just that uh, clap, kick. Oh, I've got the kick. Oh, have I got the kick on a separate um, one here? No, there we go. Right, so what I'll do is take all of these out. Take it so it's just the kick and the clap. Maybe that rim shot. No, let me take that out. So let me see how that is on there. Just to keep the momentum going, I think that's going to work better. Maybe this back. Okay, just going to shorten that. Okay, so you see what's going on. Okay, now one thing that's missing is I remember that I turned off um, the 909 ride. I'm going to bring that back. I'm going to take that out of the programming. So that's going to be a progression that can come in and uh, possibly that's going to come in somewhere over here. Okay, so the beat is going to have the, uh, this one here is going to have the 909 ride. This is not, so I'm going to take that out. So, Let me just have a look here. So with, without. So I might as well actually, just for speed, bring the copy over so I know what's going on here. So this is, this is really because I'd only built up one scene and um, one full drum beat. So I hadn't actually programmed in any variations. And it's often when you get to this arranged stage that you're gonna start thinking about that. Okay, so further on. And then the ride will come in. There you go. So it's kind of like the main riff with that electric piano. So um yeah, I just wanted you guys to take a look at that, you know, as a concept for arrangement. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this, um, whether that's going to be the format that I'm going to use, whether I'm going to do something different. I do definitely feel that like I need to get something different musically in there. Um, so I'm going to work on doing that. But, you know, a lot of guys have asked me this question about, you know, that Cubase thing. Can you do the same sort of thing in Ableton? So this is it. And it's all about activating and deactivating those clips, just filling everything out in the structure, getting a sense of the time from the beginning to the end of the track. And it's very common with these kind of tunes that it'll be reasonably constant until about two thirds of the way through some kind of little breakdown thing and then coming back, but not necessarily a big breakdown. Um, so it always depends on the style really on the, on the, on the vibe. So um, anyway, that's that. And uh, yep, this is another one of these tune ideas that I really need to find time to finish. And I think the plan is, is really, um, I said before I was gonna do another Rough Tracks EP. This is um, one of several tracks I think that are starting to take shape now for that. So fingers crossed in the next month or so, I'll put that out.